thanks a lot. This was very, very good. And uh, I think uh, pretty similar kind of questions will will go to the uh, creativity in cities and urban development. But of course, yeah. uh, Dr. Gubel will will open us up a little bit. What is this all about? And uh, uh, after that, we can also uh, ask further questions. So welcome, uh, Christoph. OK. Um, so I would like to present uh, a lecture with what I have given some years ago um, in a seminar, what we do about international urbanism at our university in, the, in Mexico City, the UAM Azcapotzalco. And the topic of this um, seminar was um, creativity in the cities, or creative cities, what is a really open subject really discussed um, right now in, in many in many forums and many um, academic events. And um, I think it and I what wanted to try to show how creative quarters or neighborhoods and open spaces might be impulses for an urban development. Can you just go on, please? This is just the introduction. I, I would I will talk about about creative cities, I will talk about open spaces, I would, will talk about creative neighborhoods, and I would like to show some examples in Hamburg, but also in other cities, because um, I'm from Germany, I would like to show some German examples how open space and creative quarters manage to, to give impulses or give impulses to urban development. Just go on, please. So as Marco told, we, we have already made a, um, a research work about creativity and innovation and design. And there we noticed that the, creativ the, the creativity in the last decades have really changed their perspective. Therefore, that now creativity is be reconsidered as an important um, element for, for the economic. Um, so we as some other um, researchers and other politicians say, we live now in a creative knowledge area and um, where the culture and the creative industry is being promoted. Can you just go on, please? Um, Ma Marco has already talked about, about uh, Richard Florida, Richard Florida and his book, um, the, um, the Rise of the Creative Class. And um, this was quite interested in a, in a in a in a sense that he divided the the creativity in three different kind of different two concepts: um, technology, talent, and tolerance. And um, maybe somehow we um, we're coming back to Marco's speech. Um, I had the impression that Marco was associating um, creativity very much with talent. And this is one of the subjects what um, Richard Florida was, was talking about. And can we go on? In my, in my um, presentation, I would like to show how these talents, which can be, as Marco said, um, differently. It can be in the art sector, but it can, can be also in, could be also in, in, in other sector, sectors, how this talent um, in, in the idea of Richard Floyd, it was somehow comprised in the creative class. So we, could, we talk now about creative milieus um, and how this can bring us to systems that are produced belong status, social class, to grouping scenes and atmosphere. Can you just go on, please? Um, the idea of creative cities or um, impulsing culture and creativity for urban development have been um, this have been developed long before. For example, in Glasgow, can you just go on, please? Or in in in, in London, in the La South Bank, where they try to recover an, an abandoned, um, a more or less abandoned industrial area in the centre of London by by um, impulsing culture and especially art um, to re-improve. This area, what is now one of the most important or most um, dynamic areas in London, South Bank. Can we just go on, please? 
and in for example in mexico we had um a quite a quite um successful model of the faro the fabricas um of artists and 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 of arts and offices and 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 which have been an idea to develop um um um, so, um areas rather poor areas and to to bring creativity but to bring also offices professional offices and so on um to, to the population and it was really very very successful it was something it was developed like a, a model and a, which, which was somehow repeated in different kind of of the cities i think right now it is no more pre promoted but for a time it was really interesting how the population in this part of Iztapalapa took care of this um, building, what beforehand was abandoned, and we give them a new vitality to art, arts and, and culture and creativity. Can we just go on? But I would like to go back to the idea of creative milieu. Um, as I said, this is a system uh, this is referring to a system that are produced beyond status and social class through grouping scenes and, and atmosphere where creative and living environments are supposed to contribute significantly to the activities and success of a city, discovering actors as an economic, economic potential of urban development. This is the idea or the basic idea of, of, of creative milieu milieu which in some point also is uh, associated through the idea of, of Richard Florida. Can you, you just go on please? Um, there are some example of, of, of Hamburg where a really fantastic creative um, office called Urban Catalyst made a project, a project about open city of Hamburg. Can we just go on? In, in which they were researching the intertwining of openness and space as an open field of action that alters the potential of creative environments for urban development based on actors, on different kinds of actors, integrating spaces and creative milieus as resources for urban innovative. Can we just go on? These are just some examples. This is an example of this study, what is um, published which is um, easily to, to, to see and to observe by internet. Um, can we just go on? There are some examples of different parts of Hamburg where they try to, 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 to promote the, the, the actors, to give them space, open spaces where they could develop somehow creatively. Can we just go on? Um, and um, for example, in Ober, Oberhafen, Hamburg, this is an area central of Hamburg, um, um, such an environment was represented as a space of transformation, an area of urban spatial tension that is to become the core of a permanent cultural and creative neighborhood in the Hafen city, what is a really a new city and, um, piece somehow um, redeveloped in the in the last decades reusing the existing industrial buildings in the area and this is a really important um, manner here that we see some potentials we see some some actions how to promote how to how to stimulate the actors to develop themselves and how, how to give them somehow spaces in munich can we can we just go on please these are still examples from Hamburg. Hamburg, can we just go on? These are um, examples of the of the um, Hafen city. Here we see the the master plan of Hafen city, and we see this small this area of the um, the Oberhafen where they try to to impulse a different kind of project based on creativity and arts. Can we just go on? And another project, for example, was the Creative Creative Quartier or the Creative Neighborhood Creative Quarter in, in Munich. Munich, for example, is well known as a city of art, but in order to, 
reformulate itself as a creative city, Munich is developing a neighborhood that should offer spaces for the independent contemporary art scenes to actors from the creative industry industries for development, production, and presentation. Can we just go on? Here we see um, these are also an, has been a kind of abandoned area, what was formerly a military base or military barrack, Louis Paul Caserne, um, and an industrial area. And therefore there have been made, um, there was made um, an architectural urban um, competition to develop this new item of, of, of Munich as a creative barrier. Can we just go on? Here we can see some of the old industrial buildings which are reused for areas for conference, areas for, areas for expositions and so on. Deep, but, but, and we can we just go on please? Yeah, there are other existing buildings which are going to be going and which are already reused. Can we just go on, please? But it is also implicit the idea of creating mixed uses with departments, a primary school, a new university building and green and open public spaces, which are planned in four neighborhood areas. Rather, here we can see also very good the four different kind of areas. Um, why the industrial buildings are protected as heritage, such as the Jutta, Jutia and the Barrel Hall, Toddenhalle in Alemon, in German, um, which will be the cultural and recreative economic center of the park. These areas, these um, two buildings we have been seen beforehand with a Barrel Hall and, um, and um, which are really the center of this new area. Um, but I would like to um, emphasis in the mix of different uses which should increase the quality of life. That was the idea of the winners of the, the urban competition involving local actors in the process. Can we just go on? And if we go on and look for other um, creative, um, creative um, neighborhoods or creative quarters in Germany or in, in other countries, then we see there are some kind of concepts which are somehow repeating. They always look for some kind of historic, um, industrial, interesting sites, maybe abundant, which could be reused. For example, one example is the Baumwollenspinnerei in, 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 in Leipzig. We can just go on. There's also the AEG site in Nuremberg. Um, also a, a former industrial area, which is reused the Dortmund U, which is a really, really emblematic building, which is now used as a center of art and creativity. When we just go on, just go on, please. This is really interesting because this is an area, the Ruhr area. This is part, the Dortmund U, Dortmund in general is part of an area what is called the, um, the Ruhr region, Ruhrgebiet, um, which was, when I was young, a really industrial area, not with a not very high recommendation to travel or for tourism. But in the 90s, 80s, 90s, they started also to rethink because the industry hasn't been used or hasn't been necessary anymore. So the area has to re re. Um, redeveloped and it was really interesting to see how concepts, interesting creative concept, urbanistic concept really re re reused these old industrial areas in the old really emblematic architecture and to give them different kind of meanings. Either today there are lots of people that make, maybe not today in this kind of very special and very particular um, moments, but beforehand there have been lots of people which made bicycle trips um, through this area, which has given about creativity, about art, of design, a new kind of image. Can we just go on? And this has been by 
emblematic buildings, but also um, historic buildings, but also by new buildings, for example, in this um, Zollverein School of Management and Design in Essen. Can we just go on? I think we can quickly finish also. We could come to the end. This is a Dortmund U, which was, which is maybe the flagship of a new um, creative area in this area in Dortmund. Can we just go on? Very emblematic, important, um, um, very majestuti, majestic um, building in itself. Of course, very attractive. Can we just go on? Emblematic also the U for the brewery, the forehand brewery, what was using this building. Union Brauerei, can we just go on? And the new building of Sana, Sana architects, Japanese architects, very important ones, who somehow um, helped to recover this area. Can we go on, please? To come to an, a conclusion, um, we can see that really the, the project somehow is re are repeating, and we see that maybe one important point is the openness of spaces where creativity and where actors can somehow develop um, themselves in a creative way, what is really difficult because in a way we have to think of affordable spaces um, as urbanistics to give space to these, these kind of milieus of scenes. But it seems that also the architectural quality and perceptible perceptible consciousness are particularly important to the success of creative neighborhoods. In this way, the attractiveness of a city will be measured in the future by its creative milieus. That's one supposal that maybe the creative milieus will be really important for the dimension of the culture and the also economic importance of a city which should provide significant impulses for its future viability by offering urban planning the opportunity to test new strategies and concepts. Um, can we go on? Management with abundant reduced production halls or permanent establishment out of survey, especially those listed at historical monuments, is considered in many places as a key factor for future and competitiveness, prosperity, and the quality of life of an entire region. As a contraponent, I just showed the picture of um, the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. So I just would like to end with the open question, are the creative milieus maybe a manner to, in, to involve or to impulse um, the urban development towards a city more creative? Or do we need, for example, as in the case of Bilbao, uh, an, an, a person out of the star systems like Franco Gary, who gave a new image to an area, how it was in, in Bilbao, what is, was an area forehand also characterized somehow by um, industrial usage, where uh, emblematic, symbolic, new architectural um, put the city of Bilbao new, newly on the land card, on the land map, of the map of um, touristic in Europe and in the world. So there are the, maybe two, but there are of course lots of other um, supposals how we could give um, impulses to the creativity in the cities, what was the main object of my topic. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, uh, Christoph. And uh, I think uh, this was very uh, important question that you have put at the at the end. Uh, whether what, what is the most important uh, between the creative milieu or also, but uh, the thing in which I was wondering also in the examples you have given, you have uh, looked at uh, the kind of rebuild or renovating older sites to the creative um, uh, environment.